Hi, my name is Bazgrim, and you might know me for my YouTube channel, Bazgrim TV, but today I'm coming to you for a completely different reason. Today, I'm coming to you as the chief curator of the Library of Pantheon, which is a brand new and community-run project for Pantheon Rise of the Fallen that I am so excited to introduce you to today. For years, all of the publicly available information about Pantheon has been spread out across the internet in many interviews, hour-long YouTube videos, newsletters, etc. And that has made it extremely difficult for the average person to keep up with it all. Now, while Vision Realms has made a few noteworthy improvements in this area recently, it's still far too time consuming for most people to keep up with the development, let alone understand the long and sometimes storied history that has led Pantheon to where it is today. And that has caused all sorts of misinformation and misconceptions that prevent the game from being understood for what it truly is. And so we as a community need a better solution. And that is where the Library of Pantheon comes in. The Library of Pantheon puts all of that, everything in one place for easy searching. This isn't just the average wiki that you may be used to with most games. This is a detailed, organized record of everything Visionary Realms has released since Pantheon was first announced. That gives anyone the opportunity to really get a thorough understanding of Pantheon's past, present, and therefore future. But rather than just talking about it, let me actually show you how it works. So if you go to www.libraryofpantheon.com, you will see this on the homepage where there's some basic introductory stuff, most of which I had just talked about now. But one thing I do want to point out before we dig in is that this is a truly a community effort. This isn't just a Basgrim TV thing. This isn't just a content creator thing. This is made by the fans for the fans we're completely independent not sponsored by vision realms at all and so that allows us to really curate th the information in a way that we know the fans um, will want to see so with that in mind let's go ahead and jump right into the good stuff by hitting on the enter the library button here at the top and that will bring us to the main directory where we can navigate to all the different areas of the library. Now I will point out real quick that if you are brand new to Pantheon or maybe you just haven't been following it in a while and you want to kind of brush up on what you missed, a great place to start is the basics. and. It is, it is exactly what it says it is. Um, we've got the Pantheon overview, the game tenants, which are the really core foundational um, philosophies that the, the game is built on. We've got the playable races, classes, maps, etc. And of course, some information on the current development phase. So that's a great place to start. And then we also, speaking of which, have an alpha tracker because that is of course the big question right now for a lot of people um, who have been following the game from a distance is when is alpha we've got some information on that there and then I also wanted to highlight real quick the curator collection which is handpicked by myself and my fellow community curators we have pulled out some of the most important um, resources, so things like gameplay streams, newsletters, interviews, etc. The the things where you'll get the most bang for your buck, so to speak. If you just want to come in and um, brush up on the most important things as quickly as possible, check out the curator collection. But let's let's head over to the great hall, which is actually the main part of the library. Um, this is where the majority of the information is. So this is every gameplay stream, developer stream, developer roundtable, newsletter interview, press release, teaser, trailer, announcement, everything from 2015 to 2021 today currently. And they're listed in reverse chronological order. So the most recent will always be at the top. Now, those of you who know your Pantheon history, you will know that Pantheon was first announced in 2014. Now everything from January to December 2014 has 
been put in its own special section of the library called the Kickstarter era because Pantheon was first announced as a Kickstarter. And just as a quick aside, you can always use this directory button here at the top to go back to the main directory. There's also a drop down list if you need to jump to any other other section of the library. All the navigation is up here. And so you can check out the Kickstarter era if you want to see everything that happened before 2015. Because for those of you who don't know, uh, right at the beginning of 2015, the game underwent a massive overhaul. The team was overhauled and the, the game prior to 2015, as it was conceptualized, was almost unrecognizable from what it is today. It was a huge, um, huge difference. So we still wanted to make that information available for those of you um, who are curious and maybe want to check back on that. But it's been put in its own section just to avoid any confusion. But anyway, so let's let's dig into the the Great Hall here and give you a, a very quick example of how this works. So right at the top here, you'll see this button to open up the search guide. And you'll see this throughout the library because this is really going to be your main companion as you're searching the library because the library is very, very large, lots of information in it. It can sometimes um, be time consuming to sort through it all to find what you are looking for so the search guide is here to assist with that now if you don't necessarily know which part of the library to find more information on a on a on a particular topic again the great hall is a great place to start but there might be additional information in other areas of the library and so that's what this quick search tool here at the top is for you can type in any topic that you want um, for example, I'll just type in combat as a quick example and when we search that it will bring up a list of all the different areas of the library where we can find more information on that topic and again with it being combat it's pretty um, broad topic so that we have lots of um, there's lots of areas that that talk about combat but oh this search guide by the way will stay open in a separate tab it always opens in a separate tab so that we can have these open um, simultaneously and so we'll switch back and forth between the two um, and the reason for that is I'll let you read through this on on your own time there's some good tips in here but what I really wanted to point out the, the thing that makes the search guide important to keep open in a separate tab as you're searching is because of this glossary so the way that the um, the resources in the library are labeled or with these with these keywords now we had to do this because and making an MMO is an incredibly complex complex thing with lots of different aspects and lots of different systems and some of those systems go by different names depending on who you ask so as a quick example if I were to go up to a rock in an MMO and use a pick on that rock and get something from that what would you call that? Some people would call that gar a gathering. Some people would call it harvesting. Um, and, and they're kind of synonymous in that way. So we had to pick one specific word to use consistently whenever referring to that topic. So this glossary will define the topics that we use for this long list of um it will, excuse me it will define the terms that we use for this long list of topics so if we go to the crafting section here we'll see that we use the word in bold here harvesting so anytime the developers talk about gathering or harvesting or whatever you want to call it um in the library it's labeled as harvesting and so if you want to find more information on that topic you need to specifically search for harvesting and again, likewise, what is that thing that you get from a harvesting node? Is it a, a material? Is it a resource? Well, in the library, it's called an ingredient and, it, and we use that term consistently. So just as a quick example, so let's say, let's say you, we want to learn more about harvesting. So we have, we found that term in the search guide here. So we're going to go over to the great hall and starting at the top, Again, the, the Great Hall is organized in reverse chronological order. So our search results, the first search result we get from going from top to bottom will always be um, the most recent. So we're just going to do a 
quick control F here to bring up the search tool. And again, it's important to type in the term exactly as it's spelt in the search guide because this tool will only bring up exact matches. So if we type in harvesting, we see we've got 56 results just for harvesting. And the first result is pretty recently in the October 2021 newsletter. We can see that it is here in these these bracket tags next to it. Sometimes it will appear in the actual title, but if it doesn't appear in the title, we'll add it on as a tag after. And so you can click on any one of these links and this will open in, a, in another tab here and you can go ahead and you can read this newsletter for more information on harvesting. We can close it, we can always go back to the Great Hall and you can use these up and down arrows to skip to the next result, which would be in September. And you can just keep clicking through and the further you go, the further back in Pantheon's history you'll go. So you can see the entire history of every time that they have talked about harvesting. You can go back as far as you want. And you can use that for any any of these terms in the search guide, but you can really search for anything you want. But these um, these terms in the search guide are what we have defined specifically to find more information on all these topics. And again, of course, that search tool can be used in exactly the same way in any of the other areas of the library. Although, I will note that the information in the alpha tracker and the patch notes sections are taken verbatim from the Vision Realms developers. And so because they don't always use the exact same terminology that we do in the library, you won't always be able to search that with perfect consistency. But there's a lot to see here. There's a lot to dive into. So again, I would encourage you to go on over to www.libraryofpantheon.com and really um, spend some time here and really and really soak up everything that there is to know. Now, if you do want to really uh, get the most out of the library of Pantheon, I would encourage you to join the library Discord server that we have set up. And you can get to it from this link on the homepage with this join button. I'll also include a link to it in the description of this video. Because one thing that I have found personally is that the more we share what we know and the more that we learn from other people and just have an open conversation about Pantheon, the more it benefits everyone involved. So I invite you to join us in that. You can also follow the library on Twitter at Pantheon Library for more information and updates. And lastly, I just wanted to mention that we as the team of curators are going to be listening very closely to your feedback on the library because again this really is for the community to help the community and so in order to know how we can best serve you we need to hear your thoughts and so we look forward to hearing from you thank you for watching this video and we will see you in the library